All right, next we have a fun one where we're going to build a bump chart using lines in order to do ranking between different values. So now, for example, I would like to rank the countries of our time. In order to do that, we're going to have the same view where we have the quarter and the sales and we have a line. So now the first thing that we're going to go and grab the country and put it on the colors in order to create those different lines. And now since the analysis is about your ranking, not the total sales, in order to build that, we're going to go to the sum of sales over here and we're going to go and create a quick table calculations here we have the rank function so let's go and select that so now we have a ranking that depends on the whole table or on the whole view i don't want that i would like to rank between only four values so in order to do that let's go to the sum of sales over here right click on it and let's edit the table calculations so let's go inside and now instead of having table across i am gonna go and specify a dimension so now we would like to have a ranking only using the country. So we're going to have only four values. I'm, I'm just going to go as well and deselect the order dates. So let's go and close this. So now we have some kind of effect of the pump chart, but we are not there yet. As you can see, the ranks like starts from the bottom to top. I would like to reverse it. In order to do that, right click on the axis, edit the axe, and then let's reverse. So that's all. Let's close this. As you can see now, we have the top rank at the top and then the bottom, we have the lowest rank. So now in order to have this pump effect, we have to have like circles inside of our visual. We can do that very easily if you go to the... So now in order to have the pump effect, we have to have lines. We have it already, but as well, we have to have circles on the data points. There is one easy way in order to do that. Let's go to the colors and change the markers to circles. So now, as you can see, we got our small circles on each data points and we get the pump effects but now sometimes we go more advanced in these charts where we can make our own customizations for those circles where we want to make those circles those data points little bit more bigger and inside it the rank so now in order to do that let's first hide those small circles we don't want that so let's go to the colors and just have a line without markers now, in order to have circles, we have to have the same measure again in our view. So let's take the sum of sales, hold control and put it on the right side. So with that, we got two charts for each measure. Let's go to the second one to the sum of sales over here. And instead of having lines, let's move it to circles. So switch the marks here to a circle. So as you can see, now we got very nicely those circles and now we can go and change the size of those circles. All right, so that looks nice. Now the next step is that we're gonna go and put it on top of each other's and we can do that using the double axis. So let's go to the sum of sales on the right side, right click on it and let's select the dual axis. So now with that, you have very nicely those circles on top of our line, but the colors are not correct yet because those two axes are not synchronized. So let's go to the right side, right click on it and synchronize axis. So now we got those circles perfectly in our lines. I would like to hide the right axis. So right click on it and let's hide the header. So now the next step, we can go and add numbers on those circles. So I'm going to stick with the second measure on those circles. Let's go to the labels and show label. And the next step, I would like to add those numbers inside the circle. So go to alignment over here and then the vertical and let's make it to the center. So with that, we got those numbers inside the circles and we can go as well and change the coloring and the font over here. Let's make it white. And now with the next step, I would like to go and change the sizing again of those circles. So let's make it little bit bigger until it looks nice all right so that's enough and with that we got a really professional pump chart and we are controlling the size of those circles so now we can go and very nicely check the ranks of those countries as you can see france was in the first data points the rank number one then it dropped to two then three then back to one and we can see the development of those sales between countries and we can see very nicely that italy is always the lowest rank in the sales in our business all right so this is how we can create pump chart a tableau